Welcome to the 10th video of my indoor weather station tutorial series and in this video we'll be looking at how to hook up the VL53 LOX distance sensor and this will be very similar to the previous two sensors which also had I2C communication. So there will be four pins that we're going to be using and the jumper wires are already attached to the appropriate uh, pins on the Raspberry Pi. One is going to be the power line which goes into VIN, then we have a ground wire that goes into G and D, a clock wire that goes into SCL, and a data line that goes into SDA. So that's it for um, the wiring. Once again there is a neat Python library online that we can um, download and use. This person actually describes how to do the installation process and if you've been following along we don't need to do this first step for instance because we've already installed these dependencies. So what we need to do is um, copy this and go to our Raspberry Pi, make sure you're in the correct directory, the one that you want to work in and we will sudo git clone that web address dot git. I'm actually not completely sure that you need to do that dot git, but we'll just do it in this case. So it's really creating that directory now. And we will cd into that directory and we will need to simply type make. Sorry, it might be sudo make. Okay, it finished. Um, I ran into a problem while using this library, and I don't know, maybe it has to do um, with um, the fact that I'm using the Raspberry Pi Zero and not the standard Raspberry Pi, but what I, what I had to do in the end was go into this directory and retrieve the actual library file and bring it to the forefront here. So we're gonna do that, and I, uh, I have actually copied the code because it's a little bit long. We need to do sudo, not even sure we need to do that, but I'll just paste this in. So what this is doing is I'm telling it to copy um, this file here from this directory and just copy it to our working directory. So I'll do that and it'll pop up here. Now one more thing that we need to do is to sudo nano, so use nano to go into this library. Um, hang on. Ah, sorry, we need to step out of this folder first. So now we're at this level, and now we can go into the library, and here's the actual library. I'll just enlarge this a little bit. So what we need to do is we need to go down a bit and replace one line. And that is this line where it says load, um, VL and so on. Um, we will just comment this out for now. The problem is because we 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 um, removed the library to a different location. This line is telling um, uh, um, um, this this line is telling the library to look for a certain folder in the same directory as the library is situated. But that's not the case anymore. So we simply need to say. And again, I think I'll just copy this because I've already written it down. So we'll copy this in here. And that's now specifying the exact location, um, so that old location where to look for this specific file here. And again, here we can exit, so control X, we will say yes to confirm and enter. All right, and that should be it. Okay, now we'll start writing the code. We need time once again. We'll import the library and we will create a, uh, um, an object which will be this one right here. X. Okay. Um, then we need to run this command, start ranging, 
and in it we need to pass an argument which will be this one right here um, 53LLX then set uh, accuracy mode and once again I got I'm not entirely sure what's behind this but I got this from the example file that the person who wrote the library left. So while true, we'll set through a while loop and say that the distance is equal to tof, that is time of flight, get distance. So the, the way that these uh, sensors work is that they send out little um, laser beams and measure the time it takes them to, to, um, to be reflected back and that's how they measure the distance. We'll print the distance and then we will sleep for one second. We'll save that in our data logging directory and that will be, we'll do underscore vl53lox so that we don't get confused with this file. Okay, let's see if that worked. So from the terminal, I will say Python execute this file. Why would that not work? That's because I've yeah. I need to look out for the capital letter here. So I'll just save this again and rerun it. Okay, there we go. So let's see if this works. So currently nine centimeters, this is in millimeters. So if I go really close, yeah, five centimeters. And if I go further away, 15, 20, and so on. I, th I think it goes, reliably to something like 50 or so, or no, actually even higher, I think it's a, a meter or so. Okay, so that worked, we can use control C to interrupt this. And um, that was it for this um, tutorial. And in the next one, we will be looking at an air quality sensor. So I'll, uh, um, I'll see you then. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and see you soon.